Good morning, this is Ron. In a few days, I'll be going up into Shenandoah National Park for a three-day, two-night backcountry trip. And I want to share with you what I'll be taking on that trip now. What do you see laid out here? There really is no rhyme or reason to it. I've tried to organize it somewhat. The purpose of it is to get myself prepared for a uh, through hike of the AT in 2022. So let me begin with uh, what I'll be carrying on this three day, two nighter. And let me begin with my big three. All right, here's my backpack. It's a Z Pack Arc Blast 55 liter. Uh, very lightweight, very nice. I love this thing. And uh, I ordered it with uh, the optional. Um, backpack liner inside and what that does is offers a little layer of protection uh, against uh, rain and I also had it retrofitted with a water sleeve bottle to place my small water bottle here and also a uh, hip belt pocket here for miscellaneous items such as my uh, night core headlamp uh, snacks, uh, and other miscellaneous items. So, that's my backpack. The next item is my sleeping quilt. Uh, I opted to go with a quilt rather than a sleeping bag. And this is my Enigma 850 down 10 degree sleeping quilt. It's very nice. Uh, it comes with a stuff sack. Uh, I'm going to change the stuff sack. I've ordered a, um, a dry bag type stuff sack because the last thing I want is for my uh, anything that I'm going to be sleeping in to get wet. And with the liner in this bag here, um, if packed properly, water won't get inside this. But, uh, Here's the quilt, and uh, it's reversible. I can I got it with the, the black on the outside and dark blue on the inside, but I can reverse this. But it's uh, very roomy. It comes with a uh, a toolbox. Now with quilts, they don't have zippers. Now they have snaps, and they come with these straps if you want to use them. And these straps allow you to anchor this to your sleeping pad so it doesn't move around. But uh, I tried it out out of my patio here on a, on a cold night and it, man, this is nice. So I'm looking forward to getting this out there and trying it out. Now, oh, I should also say this also has a, uh, at the very top of it, a pull or drawstring here that allows me to pull it tight around my, uh, my neck here uh, so that it will keep a draft out on drafty nights. The next item here is my sleeping pad and I opted for the Climate Insulated Static Velux SL. I'm tall, I'm about 6'2", 215 pounds and uh, this sleeping pad is the long and wide version and it is very comfortable. The uh, R rating on this as stated on the website and on here is um, 6.5. Uh, it takes about 15 breaths to inflate it to the comfort level that I like. But I also purchased with this um, this air pump. This is, is a, a USB rechargeable uh, air pump allows me to bump this up using this. Now, obviously, when I'm on the trail and it's at night, other people are settled in, I'm not going to use this. But if I'm out there um, camping and it's just me, I'll use this to inflate my sleeping pad. So again, the Climate Insulated Static Velux SL. I also got... Um, 
a sleeping quilt liner. Uh, this will add another 15 degrees Fahrenheit of uh, warmth if I should need it. And uh, another purpose that um, these liners serve is that they uh, keep your sleeping quilt or sleeping bag clean. They're very easy to wash, lightweight, so I'm taking this along with me as well. The next item here is my tent. Now, I went back and forth between selecting the Z-Pax uh, duplex, the two-person tent, or this one. This is the uh, Dan Durston X-Mid two-person tent. It is a very large tent. This is lightweight. I set it up a few times uh, here outside, and I love this tent. It's everything uh, that I need. This requires two trekking poles to set up. The setup is relatively easy, and uh, I'll show you that once I get out on the trail. Okay, uh, the next item up, I have a, uh, a uh, sit pad. Of course, you all know what this is for. And I have a, uh, some Tyvek. And this will act as the uh, uh, base for uh, my tent. It's very lightweight. I have my tent stakes. Uh, the Dan Durson tent came with uh, six tent stakes. I ordered uh, four more. I use a tent stake to... Uh, hang my bear bag, uh, PCT style. I also have a, um, a sleep pillow. It's very lightweight. This is the uh, Climate Pillow X. I got the large version. Uh, I tried it out. It seems to be okay. I don't know. I might, uh, I'm not sure about this. Uh, it sort of slides around in my sleeping bag, but uh, we'll see. I also have a, um, a mosquito net that hangs over my hat if I should need it. I have a five liter uh, stuff sack for my clothes. Uh, what I have inside here um, is a change of underwear, um, items that I'll be sleeping in. I have a, a Merino uh, 250 top and bottom and some socks in here. And I have my Nightcore headlamp. This is USB rechargeable. For my water filtration system, I have it with the, uh, the Katahdin B3. And also having this some uh, non electrolyte tablets that I add to my water. And also have a, a trash bag inside here also. For my rain gear, I have um, some Decathlon Couture rain pants. These are very nice. The stuff sack is integrated with the rain pants. And these could also serve as um, hiking pants as well. See, here's the, here's the pocket. And we have the zipper. I can open up here for, for ventilation. Uh, I love this material inside. It's very, how can I say, comfortable, high quality. These will definitely keep uh, the torrential rain off of me. But I love, uh, and also has a drawstring here. No belt. And I just love the way it stuffs down inside the stuff sack. It's integrated with the pant.
And I have a, uh, this is my rain jacket. Also decathlon. And this also, the stuff sack is integrated with the, uh, the rain jacket. And I love this thing. It's very lightweight. And as you can see, it packs down to next to nothing. With uh, the draw straps on it, and as you can see, it's very lightweight. It has venting in the rear, it has a uh, one pocket in the front, and that pocket, even though it appears to be very small, that's the stuff sack as well. So, very comfortable jacket, and also access a windbreaker as well if I should need this as a windbreaker. Okay, um, my cook system. I have the uh, Tokes 750 milliliter pot. Inside the pot, I have a, uh, a fuel canister, a big lighter, and the uh, pocket rocket stove. I also have a, a stand for the fuel canister. And I have a, um, a long-handled spoon. I have uh, my toilet articles here. Inside this bag, I have my uh, trowel, some... Um, wet wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet paper, toilet articles. I also have um, these uh, beach water shoes. Uh, I opted to use these rather than clogs, and these will serve as my camp shoes as well. Um, I've owned a pair of these before, and they work very well. They're, they're lightweight they dry very fast. So this is something that if I have to tread through water, through a stream, let's say knee deep, for example, uh, I can uh, take off my hiking shoes, hiking boots, put these on, go across and hang these to the back of my backpack and 15, 20 minutes, they'll be dry. I'm also carrying uh, two smart water bottles for obvious reasons. And let's talk about my, uh, oh, I should also say here that um, I have a, a collapsible cup that comes with a, uh, a lid. And I can use this to uh, drink uh, coffee, tea, or something cold in the morning if I want to use it. I like that it collapses down to almost nothing. And I have, um, this is my food uh, bear bag. Now in this bear bag, um, I'll place everything in this that uh, that's scented, such as my uh, toothpaste, uh, things like that. Uh, obviously my food, um, nothing will be in my tent that will attract uh, Bears, not the critters, nothing. And um, on this uh, three-day, two-nighter, I don't plan on taking a whole lot of food because when I'm out there hiking, uh, I get down to business. Uh, I don't eat a whole lot while I'm out there hiking. I'm sure on those more longer hikes uh, that hiker hunger will kick in, but uh, uh, it doesn't just, just make sense for me to eat heavy meals out there on the trail while I'm hiking. So let me show you my food here. I have um, two Cliff Bars. I have some dried fruit consisting of apricots, uh, cherries, mango in here. 
love mango. Oh, for my dinners, I've got uh, three Lipton soups. Um, and these are great because what I do with these here is that I use these um, pre-cooked chicken carb cuts here. I just crumble these up and place them inside the pot while these are boiling. And they make a great uh, chicken noodle soup. Uh, very satisfying. I also have three instant coffees inside here as well. Um, for lunches, when I'm feeling hungry, uh, in those moments when it's not, say, lunch or dinner, I have uh, three large tortilla tortillas in here, along with uh, some apple jelly. I love apple jelly and peanut butter. I like the crunchy peanut butter. And they're all in separate packets inside this right here. And this is basically all the food that I'm taking right here for that three day, two nighter. My first day I'll have uh, a nice breakfast. So you know, I won't feel hungry until uh, dinner. I'm also taking with me a Nalgene bottle. Now the reason for this is because a Nalgene bottle is very uh, useful. It could serve as a hot water bottle. I can say if it gets really cold out there and I want to uh, something inside my quilt with me, I can um, boil some water, put it in here, and insert this, this inside my uh, quilt, and then uh, add another layer of warmth. Um, if it's very cold out, uh, say where it gets down to freezing, I'll also include my electronics uh, inside my sleeping quilt. Also have with this bag here, this bear bag, there's a rock sack where I can hang um, my food on a tree if I need to do that. I also have a small first aid kit. Don't leave home without it. Now, my electronics, um, I have uh, here this miscellaneous cables for my electronics for my phone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro which I take with me. And I have my charger. This is a solar charger. And uh, this is great because it has uh, three USB ports. And I could uh, charge this by plugging into the AC outlet, or it has a solar panel here where I can hang it outside my backpack or when I'm at camp, it's stepped out in the sun and it keeps us charged. This has never failed me out there. And I have my little GoPro rig here with an external microphone and it's very lightweight and it has a little tripod on it so that I can video uh, my experience out there on the trail. And lastly, my trekking poles. These are very old, but they, they're useful. They work. Uh, these are the uh, trail buddies and I'll be using these also to uh, set up my tent. So, uh, that's it with regards to my uh, camping gear. And uh, I'll be testing all this stuff out. I might change some things. Uh, there are articles of clothing that I'll be hiking in. Um, very lightweight. I'm taking a pair of uh, uh, hiking boots. Hiking shoes are the uh, Ultra uh, Mid Mesh 4.0s. They're very nice, I love them. And um, a pair of shorts. I have a pair of uh, uh, hiking tights that I'll wear the shorts over, uh, just for comfort. I, might, I also own a pair of uh, uh, Old Raven uh, kebs, which I'm not taking because it's gonna be pretty uh, warm out there. It's supposed to get into the 60, 60s, up into the mid 70s. Um, on the third day, there might be some rain, maybe, but uh, I don't see the need to carry uh, clothing that I'm not going to need. Um, so I'll leave those here. I have a, uh, a lightweight, um, like this right here, actually. This is a uh, bay leaf. Um, I think this is 80% polyester, but it's 
quick dry, very light, very comfortable. Um, and this is something that I can hang um, out in a dry within 10, 15 minutes. But uh, I love these. And um, some darn tough socks. I have um, a bandana here that I can use as a head rag. I'm taking also uh, a beanie in case it gets cold at night. I can put over my head to, to sleep in and uh, a pair of uh, uh, light gloves. But uh, I'll be okay. I'll be just fine. I'm very excited to get out there on my very first back camping trip in Shenandoah National Park. Uh, this will be just over 21 miles. And uh, the first day will be pretty light, about four miles, five miles maybe. And then um, the next day about nine miles and the last day, what, six miles, seven miles. But looking forward to it. And I'm always up for the challenge. Got to take all this stuff to another level and uh, hope to share it with you. Thanks for watching.